How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic 2021 video and I finally got after probably like 30 junkyard runs finally got the Ford DLC Mach 1 not the the mod or the community workshop one I finally got the DLC one which is a little different different uh I think like one or two different motors in it and everything but here it is in all of its rusted out glory. Not looking too hot, but I'm super excited to actually work on this. I do want to pretty much match this exact image here when rebuilding it uh, in like every way, uh, except for the motor. I do want to swap the motor or which one was it? It's already got the Cobra jet in it. I did the Cobra on the last one. Wasn't as much power as I was hoping for. So I might go with a small block or I don't know what the overhead valve 6P is. So I might also do that. But there's tons of tons of options to be had here. It looks like it is blue, but I'm unsure. Uh, let's get it to the car wash and I can see what the original paint color was. Because I can see in here. Uh, it is blue tons of color variants we'll get the inside cleaned out since it was sitting outside with pretty much no windows missing a door all right see the see the dirt fade away and the rust appear so it's like half black half blue I see front fenders are redone black at one point Okay, not too bad. Definitely missing quite a bit. Let's get it back in on the lift. All right, right off the bat, we're going to tear off all of the components that I can remove. I'm going to replace every component. I'll try and reuse the fenders and stuff, but I'm going to get new bumpers. Because there's no bumpers anyways. Uh, 1%, 8%. Yo, yeah, parts also on this are very, very, very bad. Looks like I can save one door and a fender. All right, let's see the magic happen. 1,600 credits. This is a pretty big job. And you see the rust fade away. And then the paint, since it is sprayed down, the paint doesn't come back to brand new. Uh, very metallic blue. Very, very metallic blue. Not bad. All right, let's pop off this. Oh, wow. This radial here. Yeah, this rim is, I think, beyond saving. This one's a lot better. Yeah, those were those were pretty brutal. In that body window as well. I'll do the interior while I got all the doors and windows off. And since this is a DLC car, there should be oh no not third ford uh mock yeah there we are so there should be parts for it i don't mind these the mock one uh seats at all i think they're pretty good all right let's start mounting on what i have that's not gonna make the cut Oh, did this have pinstripes? It does. Okay. All right, now let's pick up everything I'm going to need. Is there anything in the body tuning for this? Nope, doesn't look like it, really. Uh, okay, back. And body shop. Mach 1. Uh, everything except for the front left and front right fender, right? That, that. All right, I think that's everything. I'm gonna mount everything on right now, just because it helps the it helps complete the look. Did have me remove those lights? No front grill lights get pulled out. That was what I saved. window 
Oh, I wish you could put some louvers on this. That's one of my favorite things to do to this. Wait, does it have louvers in the... It doesn't. Dang it. Definitely some of the DLC ones, or the mod ones, definitely have them. All right, and plates. Let's go with like a, with a southern plate. Southern. Let's go Arkansas. Maybe, maybe you'd find one of these in a junkyard in Arkansas. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, how's she looking now? 100, 100. Parts are obviously not good. And I've already made 22 grand. Not really doing too much. Let's see what we got working here. No. No trunk liner at all. Just pure pure metal. Not not ideal. <laughs> all right, let's get the motor dropped out. Looks like it's still the transmission attached, which is good news. You know, I don't think I'm going to reuse the motor, so kind of whatever, but oh, there's no oil pan. Pop this guy out, and I will do a full restoration on this, so suspension, brakes, transmission, all the good stuff. Up you out. And then I'm not, I guess I'm not really sure which motor I want to put in. So I'll leave it up to you guys. I say first one to comment. Let me know what you want. Uh, we can do an old single carb, double carb. Uh, we can do a dual carb supercharger. We can do the Cobra Jet that's already in it. Doesn't really get too much horsepower. Uh, you can do an old small block 302 or... Uh, the mag motor. So there's there's quite a few options here. Just let me know what you guys want to do. I'll prepare for any of them. So here's like the 302 small block. Small block, definitely not a lot of horsepower. Cobra Jet's decent, but not a lot. Definitely the V8 supercharger will probably be the one that pulls the most. Let's see if I can find the mag motor in here, actually. Oh yeah, the 6P. This is the 6P is also a pretty good one. I think this one was in a charger though. Maybe. One of the two. But the 6P is pretty good. Then the mag is a little bit different version than the 6P. I think it's dual versus single carved. So honestly, my vote would probably be the 6P if you want to go with something special or if you want just pure power, go with the supercharged uh double overhead or no overhead valve uh dual dual carb this guy over yoink put that back not gonna need that for a hot minute all right let's figure out what is going on with these tires so they're 15 245 60s hmm 15. Mm, okay. Let's see. We'll go with just the stock ones. I'm going to kick them out. Mm. I'm going to do a 10. Let me, let me mount the front one really quick. It's welder out of my way so I don't trip on it. I want to see where it sits. Honestly, the stock ones kind of sit pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll just run a, I'll just run a set of stocks on those actually. So that's all right. I don't really care too much to lose the money. Got a couple. I got about a mil on me. Fifteens. And it was 265, oh, 245 by 60. And then this isn't going to be uh, anything more than just vintage restoration. 245 by 60. So I'm not going to go crazy on like slicks or anything like that, uh, but I'm going to soup it back up. All right. Now that I got that, let's get this thing back up in the air. I'll leave the engine compartment for next time. But I'm going to go through, strip down this full suspension here. Uh, and get like half of the puts get back together. And I'll see you guys back here with whatever I figure out. Right, let's see. 
have these parts. Okay, I got one tie rod. Outers, got the right disc. Bump suspension arm A. And I did just get a level up, and I got. Let's see, let me read this first. Bottom suspension arm A. There we are, missing it. Uh, I did get another level of. Uh, let me see, what was it? The screwing and unscrewing level. Yep, I got the. Uh, I got this level. I accidentally bought this one first, but I got some. I have a 230% uh, screwing and unscrewing speed, so I am going really, really quick. Next up is definitely going to be upgrading the mounting speed. Once I get that, I'll be going a lot faster working in between each of these cars. So I need upper as well. Uh, one upper. Also grab more rubber bushings. Not two. I honestly wish I could buy just like a bulk camp. I want to buy like a bulk hundred at once, but not have to store them in my inventory. So we got 42. I can go shift them into the uh, the uh, inventory I have in the back, but I'll wait on that. Up caps. Wow, I'm missing a lot. See here, break. I need one more of those. One more of these. Let me think. What else was I just missing? Oh yeah. Double wishbone. I think is what we're gonna be having to go with. Yep. And I think I have some springs already, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let me pick up all these. Let's assemble some springs, little wishbone. Yep, okay, so I have a lot of struts, just not a lot of caps or springs. Alrighty. Go to the other side. And that should make it really easy for me. Rear's already done, so don't worry about that. A bearing. Cat pads. Calipers. All right, boom. Good to go. See, it does bring the part condition up a bit, but still not looking too hot. So there's the suspension. Uh, let me add on these wheels so I can show you guys what they look like. I just went with the normal black chrome you saw. Dang, yeah, these wheels go on quick now. All right, how's that offset look? Stock offset, still pretty good, I gotta say. Still, still pretty good. Wow, yeah, this is way faster. All right, and there we go. There is all of the stage one done for the car. I got the body done. I got the uh, brakes minus the servo. I got suspension, tire wheel. I got all that good, good ready to go. Uh, in the next episode, we're working on paint, uh, motor. Obviously, we're in, I think we're going with the six P. I'm not sure though. We'll have to see. Uh, and yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be really, 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 really good one. Uh, I'm really excited. It's going to look like this, ideally. I'm going to go for this, you know, reddish-orange mix, I think, in the color. I'll see what the stock colors are that it wants to, wants to choose. But there we go. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video. See ya.